Welcome. This series presents the non-dual wisdom of the Avatar Gita. Ramana Maharshi often quoted from the Avatar Gita and was widely regarded to exemplify its teachings. Listen, reflect, and deeply meditate. Know yourself. This is Richard Clark. Today, I will read from and comment on Chapter 1, Verses 13 and 14 about Brahman and you. Verse 13, you, Atman, were never born, nor did you ever die. The body was never yours. The Shruti has often said, this is all Brahman. Verse 14, you are all Brahman, free from all change, the same within and without, absolute bliss. Run not to and fro like a ghost. My comment. These verses address the true nature of the Atman, the individual self, and Brahman. Let's examine each verse in detail. Verse 13, you, Atman, were never born, nor did you ever die. The body was never yours. The Shruti, the revealed scriptures, has often said, this is all Brahman. Verse 13, points to the timeless and eternal nature of the Atman. The true self, the Atman, is beyond birth and death. It is not subject to the limitations of the physical body. This is not experience due to identification with and as the body. The body is temporary and ever-changing, but the Atman remains unaffected by these changes. The changing body can be a focus of self-inquiry, asking, am I the body? The body changes, do I change? You can also use consciousness as a base for the inquiry. I know this body, does this body know me? The verse also refers to the Shruti, the revealed scriptures, which repeatedly proclaim that everything is ultimately Brahman, the ultimate reality or the absolute. You can inquire into this by noticing your thoughts and the space between them. Notice the awareness that is always there. Then rest in the feeling of this pure awareness. Verse 14, you are all Brahman, free from all change, the same within and without, absolute bliss. Run not to and fro like a ghost. Verse 14 highlights the non-dual nature of reality and the inherent divinity within each person. It states that the true essence of each is Brahman itself, the ultimate reality. It emphasizes that the Atman is unchanging, unaffected by any external circumstance or experience. It is the same within and without, meaning that the true self is not limited to any particular form or boundary. 
You can inquire into this by looking at what comes and goes within yourself and what remains always changeless. Furthermore, it states that the nature of the Atman is absolute bliss or supreme happiness. This is vital to know since we all want to be happy. As you notice that the happiness from the world is temporary and the happiness that wells up from within you is not, you'll start to move your focus from what you like to what you love. The last line of verse 14 advises against being caught up in the transient and illusory nature of the world. It urges us not to wander aimlessly like a ghost seeking fulfillment in external pursuits. Everything external is transient. It comes and goes. You will not find fulfillment in something that is just an appearance. Instead, it directs us to recognize our true nature as Brahman and abide in the realization of our essential divinity. These verses from the Avatar Gita emphasize the eternal, unchanging, and blissful nature of the self, encouraging us to transcend the limitations of the body and mind, find the source of happiness within, and recognize our unity with Brahman. These teachings echo the philosophy of Ramana Maharshi, who taught self-inquiry as a means to realize one's true nature and abide in the experience of non-dual consciousness. So inquire, know yourself, and be always free and at peace. Thanks for watching. If you enjoyed this Ramana Maharshi video, subscribe, like, and send me a comment.